Hey guys, welcome to a video on something I've been kind of working on called ScriftJ. Now, what you see right here is the versions of ScriftJ going through time, from the oldest to the newest. Now, this has been a project I've kind of been keeping uh, fairly secret due to really, I don't want to say that this will be ever complete. This may never ever be finished, but this is probably the first thing ever announcing that this exists. So this is mainly just to show how it is of how it has evolved through time. So let's, let's look at this first one. So this is the very first called Render V1. This uses Canvas. Now it this doesn't actually work due to it was a really bad version. Now, we move down to render v2. Render v2 works like this. You'd click, and then you can just kind of move your mouse around and go wherever you want it to. And you just click it in, click again, and it'll just kind of put it down. You add these buttons over here. Text to save and stuff, and uh, you can choose files. Now, this was a really good version. Now, as we went to the next version, it's just called Render V3. Now, first thing is I actually made a logo, which isn't too bad. Kind of use the same font for the uh, kind of logo thingy I have right now. And and really, uh, we got all this kind of. This also displays the where it's actually located on the screen. It would update. Let me just refresh it. And as you can see, it will kind of add the positions, and this is for connecting things together. And it had this type of. This was on top. You know, this was a very good version. It truly improved version 2 of the render. And this no longer actually uses Canvas. This first one does. The second one doesn't, and the third one doesn't, it just kind of stuck as render. So now, render v4. Render v4 was, as you can see, a version of v3, but pushing the limits. As you can see, this is a group movement, and the issue is, is that it cannot update fast enough. It's trying to move many things, and the... Moving it around is really buggy and glitchy, and it totally just broke on me right there. And there is a little bit of updated uh, positioning, where there's zeros to indicate the groups. But, you know, uh, this was an okay version, but really it was more of a flop, and never really was going to go anywhere. But then, I started on this. This was a total remake of everything using some past experience from these past four versions. It was a total remake, no code was copied from the previous. Uh, some key concepts were, but everything else was the same. And this took me maybe less than an hour to make. Now, all this really can do right now is as limited connecting and is a little bit buggy, but uh, still works. But what happened during this is that it really just, I still need to do more work on this, but then something else happened. Engine V6. Now this was called Render, now this is Engine. This was the truly the leap from the Render to the Engine. And the only difference between, all these words really mean isn't really what they're supposed to mean. It just means this is a brand new version that's designed a whole new way that looks at it a whole different way and this is when I started to use a more object oriented approach in JavaScript and as you can see it it actually connects and this took me not that long it actually is very efficient and really everything kind of just works together and as you can see, that keeps track of how many things you've added, and this is actually a really efficient way. Also, how to do this, and 
this probably will also be able to move things together very well, hopefully. So this is how the versions have kind of gone up through time, up to the newest version. And really, this video is just to show you that um, I have been working on some things, and this really is a big project I've been kind of working on. And hopefully soon this will be complete, but, you know, this project actually has been probably worked on for over a year, well, half a year. So this has been, take, this has taken several months to do, and a lot of hard work has gone into it. 